Hey my friends, welcome back to another episode of the Euro Cooking Canuck. I'm so happy once again to see you. Now guys, I'm very sorry, but my mic is kaput on my uh, laptop. So I have two choices. I have to get a USB microphone or I'm going to have to really crack open that camera that I have still sitting there. Guys, on today's segment of Memories of Malta, we're going to be making something that our ancestors have been making here for many years. And it just goes to show you how you can create a wonderful dish out of limited uh, resources. What we're making is called la ham fou il foire. And basically what that is, is a steamed meat. Now, when this was originally done, they killed two birds with one stone. In the pot, there would have been soup, and on top would have been the steaming meat. So you can cook two meals at once using less resources. So guys, without further ado, let's get in the kitchen and make this awesome dish. You're gonna love it. I know you're gonna to wanna to make it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the kitchen countertop as usual. So here I have all the ingredients to make our meal. Um, first and foremost, obviously I have some um, steaks. These are sirloin that I had my butcher cut for me. Um, fairly thin. Um, you don't want them too thin, but you don't want them extremely thick either. Okay, so I have some four of those. I have some green olives a red onion, a head of garlic. We're gonna need quite a bit of garlic, but again, it's to your taste. I have here some chicken stock. Now, normally, Nana would have been cooking a big pot of soup, and you would use the stock from here. Um, I have some potatoes, tomatoes, and some parsley. Of course, we'll have some salt and pepper um, to taste. All right, and I'll show you what I do next. So guys, in my pot here, I have my potatoes that were peeled and washed. And there's just a bit of water in here. I'm gonna add a little bit more hot water, just so the potatoes are covered. Because this is going to serve a couple of purposes. One, to cook our potatoes, and two, it's going to act as the steaming agent for our meat. And I'll show you what I do next. All right guys, I've gone ahead and thinly sliced half of my red onion, and I'm going ahead now and slicing very thinly my garlic. I'm using six heads of garlic. Guys, all of the ingredients will be below as usual in the description bar. So I've sliced off the top of the tomatoes and liberally salted and peppered. So now I have all of our vegetable contents ready. Okay guys, so I've done the same with my steaks. I've liberally salted and peppered both sides, and now that's all there is to it. Quite simple, we're just going to assemble, and I'll show you how I do that. Guys, I have a large pot here, and obviously I showed you before the potatoes are inside, and what I have on top is a pie plate, or you can use an enamel plate. This is where we're going to assemble our meat and all the rest of the vegetables. So for the assembly guys, start off with a little bit of your garlic. And then you're gonna start placing your meat in there. And it doesn't matter as long as they're all in there. You're gonna place your tomatoes and your onions. Place more of the garlic. You can even put some onions on top of your tomatoes. And there you have it. And now what you're gonna to wanna to do is get that stock and go ahead and add the stock in there slowly. Okay. 
not too much. And then we're gonna place this on top of the pot I'm gonna set this to steam. A couple of minutes in, guys, you can go ahead and add your olives. Disperse them how you like. We're gonna place a lid on it now and allow this to steam slowly for about an hour or two. All right, guys, we're about halfway through steaming. Um, I'm sure the potatoes are well on their way, if not totally cooked by now. But we put them in their hole so they don't fall apart into complete mush, and that's a good thing. So carefully take the lid off away from you. And I did check the meat, it's quite tender. But at this point, what I wanna do is now go ahead and add some parsley. I got a really nice bunch of parsley, guys. So it lives gonna go back on. And we're gonna let this steam a little bit more until the parsley wilts and the meat will get further tender. All right, guys, I took my potatoes out and I put a little bit of butter in here. And we're gonna start mashing my potatoes. Now, instead of milk, what I'm going to add is a bit of that leftover chicken stock. Just a bit. Guys, you know how to make mashed potatoes. I'm gonna adjust the butter, salt, and pepper, definitely and I'll bring you back when these are all fluffy and gorge. So guys, I've added a little bit more butter and traditionally these mashed potatoes would have been garlic mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna add a little bit garlic granules, mash these up, keep them warm, and I'll bring you back. Guys, they're so good. Nice and fluffy, I've tasted them. They're amazing. Gonna keep these warm on the back burner. And we're almost done. Hey guys, we plated up our meal. The meat is gorgeous and tender. The tomatoes are tender. Those potatoes are absolutely to die for. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and add some of that luscious broth. potatoes will soak that up nicely. It's beautiful. I'm just gonna top this up with a little bit of fresh parsley. Mm. And there you have it guys. This is rustic, but hearty, beautiful, and very inexpensive to make and very tasty. Guys, please like, please subscribe and share. My Facebook page will be below. Um, sorry about the uh, camera situation, but that's all I have to deal with right now. And I really wanted to make this tonight. So guys, we'll see you next time on Memories of Malta and the Euro Cooking Canuck. A few pics to follow. Ciao for now.